Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew, and today in Overwatch, I was kind of thinking about something that has been on my mind for quite some time. Ever since I saw Overwatch come out, the new trailer, all the little gameplay, everyone raving about it, I heard the word MOBA get thrown around a lot with this game. And at first, I totally bought it. I was like, oh yes, this is a MOBA FPS hybrid. This is what it's called. Like, this is a new genre, what have you. And this is coming from a guy who has poured like thousands and thousands of hours into Dota. Uh, and I don't mean just Dota 2, I mean like since it was from the uh, Warcraft mod. So that's about seven years of Dota, adding up to about, I don't know, 5,000 hours, 6,000 hours into the game. I don't play that game anymore. And I was totally sold on this idea, right? I just ate it up, bought it up right away. Like, I believe them without even really checking into it. In fact, you, you probably would find videos of me, you know, since last year saying, Oh my god, Overwatch is a MOBA FPS hybrid. Uh, but after playing it for quite some time, I, I definitely don't think that is an accurate statement. Having the word MOBA and using it to define Overwatch into a certain genre, I, I don't think that is an accurate statement. I mean, believe me guys, as someone who has wasted their college life away on the computer playing Dota for like years, I I definitely don't think Overwatch is uh, what you would call a MOBA anything. And before you guys get too butthurt, decide today is the day to rage on YouTube and the weather is perfect for shitting on the comments section. I guess one thing to keep in mind is that me trying to debate the classification of a freaking video game that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of life. I mean, even the scope of Overwatch, I mean, it's still a great game, I love the game, I love playing it. So, I don't know, this is just a topic that I found interesting, something I've been thinking about, so hear me out. So, my first reasoning why I do not think MOBA should describe Overwatch, even in the hybrid sense, is that First and foremost, there are no creeps in Overwatch. Now a creep is just to define like an AI basically of, of minions if you will that will kind of just blindly rush out in waves towards the enemy base. Now creeps add a special depth in MOBAs, you know, they kind of decide how a battle flows, the pacing of the battle, it's how you get experience, how you get gold, uh, but none of that is present in Overwatch. Yeah, there's no creeps in Overwatch. There's no sort of AI element in Overwatch outside of, I don't know, deployables like turrets that certain heroes can set down. And with no creeps, there is no like economy system per se, right? Uh, in Overwatch, you don't really have what you would have in a MOBA with gold, EXP. You don't have levels. You can't level up, right? Um, most of the MOBAs I know, I mean, I know someone's probably going to bring up an example in the comments. Most of the big MOBAs that I'm familiar with, they all have some sort of gold system where you can buy items, you can upgrade your character, you can level up your character. Uh, there is a progression, miniature progression system in the game within each match. None of that is present in Overwatch. Okay, guys, none of that. It's just literally you just pick the character and you go with it. Now the thing about Overwatch, this is a, the third difference, is that Overwatch allows you to switch out characters in the game, like mid-match, right? You can choose from any of the 20 plus characters in Overwatch currently, and you can, you can, you can play that character in the match. Now in Dota League of Legends, as far as I know, they, they have not yet made that change. You stick with one hero, right? You stick with one hero from the beginning all the way to the end. Now, the next big difference between Overwatch and any other MOBA, and why I don't think MOBA should ever be used to describe Overwatch, is that in MOBAs, the point of the game is to destroy the other person's base. Now, in Overwatch, there are currently a handful of different game modes, but none of them ever require you destroying another person's base. I mean, there's Capture Point, and there's a payload map so far, and none of those require you to destroy any sort of towers. You don't have to go up against people defending their barracks, because they're there are no barracks, you know what I mean? And heck, this makes me think of, you know, how maps are different in MOBAs versus Overwatch. In MOBAs, they, the map is defined by usually a jungle section on, on both sides and three lanes, or at least distinctive lanes. I know some MOBAs don't have three lanes, but there are distinct lanes that kind of split up the map, right? In Overwatch, they don't, that's not even the format. There is no lanes. I mean, I guess there is like choke points and stuff, but they're not formatted the same way as a MOBA would be. I guess the more and more I play Overwatch, the more I'm seeing that the word MOBA, even if you call it like a MOBA hybrid something when you're trying to describe Overwatch, I don't think that is 
adequate, accurate, whatever you guys want to call it. Now the only thing I can think of when people say there are MOBA elements, right, in in Overwatch is when they're referring to like the class-based system. But if having a class-based system is all it takes for a game to be called a MOBA, I mean, good god, a good portion of the RPGs out there would be called MOBAs then. Now, I can kind of see why some people would think Overwatch has MOBA elements, right? Uh, things like having four distinctive abilities, I mean, that's kind of MOBA-ish. They have an ultimate ability, which is MOBA-ish. Um, they have uh, very fantastical, stylized characters that's something you would find in a MOBA. And I guess after talking about it for this long, good god, are you guys still watching this video? I guess for talking about it this for this long, you know, I, I can kind of see why Overwatch has MOBA elements. That's about as far as I would go. But in my opinion, just having these characteristics alone, I don't think that is uh, enough to justify Overwatch being ca categorized as a MOBA shooter or whatever you guys want to call it because, I mean, having abilities, having an ultimate ability, these are all things that you can find in, in other genres of games. So why, why would people want to stick the uh, MOBA tag on Overwatch, right? I mean, uh, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just because MOBAs are really, really popular for the last, I don't know, five, six years, right? They've gotten super popular, they're a huge genre now. But I guess with all the key differences, you know, between MOBAs, a traditional MOBA in Overwatch, key differences that, to me, define a MOBA, right? These are things that are really core to a MOBA. You know, having creeps, having that golden experience system, having items to upgrade and buy, you know, all these different things make a MOBA a MOBA to me. And those are things that are not in Overwatch, so... I guess that's just sort of my main argument anyways. I don't know, maybe you guys think I'm splitting hairs at this point, but I mean, without all these different aspects that make a MOBA a MOBA, why don't we just call Overwatch something like, uh, I don't know, a class slash ability based first person shooter? Would you say I'm splitting hairs? Yeah, 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 I probably am. But with all that said, I'm sure you guys have differing opinions for me. Everyone has a friggin' opinion, especially on the internet, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna set up a poll right here. Guys, check out on the upper right-hand corner. Let me know what you guys think, right? Especially if you disagree with me. I mean, don't take it personally just because we uh, disagree over a, a video game genre. But yeah, just let me know. I mean, let me know your point of view because Perhaps you'll bring up something that I didn't think of before, maybe you'll just totally slam dunk my ass in an argument and just totally make me reconsider this whole video, my whole YouTube channel, my whole life even. Yeah, you guys get the point, but you know, uh, it's, it's all good man, Just it's all good, it's a discussion. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I guess until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.